Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. It's about, uh, I don't know, we are just leaving uh, Steinbach actually, just got my truck fixed, 100 meters. Turn yes, right on. I just drive. did, and now we are leaving for Winnipeg, yep, we have been quite busy today. We did, did some running around town. Well, first in the morning we went to check on the truck to see how that was going, and we had more and more and more delays. And uh, so then we went for breakfast, had some good breakfast with the wife, and then we went over to a place just down the road from that place to check out what it would cost me to get some uh, custom shirts made I'm thinking about getting me some YouTube shirts and then a uh, t-shirt and then uh, maybe have my cost custom uh, label on there for YouTube label you know like Trucker Rudy on it and stuff like that so I got me some prices for that and then I went over to uh, to Honda to check to see uh, I get me some tires for my van because we put winter tires on in winter or for winter last winter and well as you guys can probably see it's summer already and it's the first long weekend in May here right now coming up and so that's official summer so uh, next week we're gonna put uh, old season tires on and then uh, We'll have them on till, uh, till uh, fall again and then we'll put our winter tires back on. And then we went over to Cal Tire to see if we could get rims. Because I like to really what I like to do is have me an extra set of rims. And then just put those winter tires on one set of rims and have the summer tires on another set of rims. And fortunately we weren't able to find one set yet but we'll see. We'll see maybe eventually we'll find a nice set. Because if I want to go with the original Honda rims, they are super expensive. They're like three or four, three to four hundred dollars a rim, just for one rim. And I can get aftermarket rims. Uh, these guys had them for like a hundred, as low as hundred and twenty-five bucks a rim, you know. But those ones weren't; they didn't fit. So we have to, we have to continue looking for different ones. But and I don't really want to go with steel rims. I don't really like the black steel rims, they, I don't know, they don't look good to me. Well, eventually we'll find us a set that will work. But, but anyways, uh, we got kind of got delayed today because uh, my truck wasn't ready so I couldn't leave right away in the morning. But here we are in the afternoon, leaving now. We're actually just bobtailing right now to Winnipeg. We'll go pick up a... Uh, Supposedly three preloaded trailer up there in Winnipeg, and then, uh, and then we'll just go uh, deliver that to Minneapolis tomorrow. We gotta be there by two o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, so we gonna have to work hard to do that. But we'll see if we can do it or not. I haven't looked at any numbers yet to see if what our schedule will be like but we'll do our best and that's all we can do and that's all we can do 
Anyways, I got a lot of stuff done on the truck today and yesterday. Yes, sir, we, we did. Ended up the happening was the exhaust pipe was broken off in the back there, so they had to order a new pipe. And that was the wrong pipe. And then they had to uh, put some other pipes together to make it work and welded all of them together. And they uh, they said the old pipe was, you know, had a bunch of holes in all over the place already. So it was about time to uh, put a new uh, pipe in there. And I told them to replace the silencer right away too. So we got that done. And, and then uh, I got uh, <clears throat> My oil filter and diesel filters change because I change them between uh, oil change because I run synthetic oil. So I change them between oil changes. And then uh, my oil pan was leaking a little bit, not really leaking, but was seeping through a little bit of oil. And I had just gotten a, a new oil pan gasket put on there about a month ago or a month and a half ago. And, and it wasn't sealed, so they, uh, they took it off and uh, redid it. So we'll see if that's sealed. And then my air compressor was leaking oil a little bit, so I got them to take that off and uh, put the new seals in there. So hopefully that will be nicely sealed up now. And then my uh, fan hub uh, hose there, there's a little tiny hose that goes up to their little air hose. Uh, it was leaking a little bit of air, so I got them to replace the hose and the fitting as well. I got them to put uh, new airbags underneath my bunk. They were shot and then they uh, realized that the uh, little lever there for the uh, leveling valve was shot too, so they replaced that. And they noticed that one of my wheel seals, uh, wheel seal was leaking. So we got that fixed. Got so much stuff done on there now, <laughs> again. And then I had an electrical wire issue with uh, my headlight. They found that where that was, so they fixed that. And then my uh, mirror bracket there on the passenger side, there, uh, the mirror that you might be able to see there on the uh, passenger side there by the hood. That one, one of the bracket was cracked there, so I got them to fix that. And then I got me a new uh, trailer cord. That one was keep. I was keep uh, that one kept breaking on me so got me a new cord for that so we are all good with that now oh man I think we got so much stuff to oh no that <laughs> wow that's just amazing how much stuff we got down so but now the truck is nice and smooth again oh it feels much better driving right now anyways let's get over to Winnipeg Looks like it just started drizzling. Take off our uh, loaded trailer and put the hammer down for Minneapolis area. At least that's where I think we're going. So we'll see. Anyway, see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we finished picking up our preloaded trailer up here in Winnipeg. Now we're trying to get out of Winnipeg. Yeah. Let's see how far we can make it tonight. Yep, it's been drizzling on and off. I hope it's not going to be like this all weekend long. Uh, yeah, well, May long weekend is always a rainy, uh, rainy weekend, but nothing I can do about it, I guess. But yeah, looks like the construction is starting too. It looks like. As soon as summer starts, then construction starts too, I guess. And I guess in a good in a good way it, or in a way it is good I guess. That way our roads will be a lot smoother. Yep. Yeah, well let's get out of here. And lucky there ain't too much traffic up here in Winnipeg right now. So let's see if we can make her across the border tonight yet get at least a few miles in today. Alrighty guys, we have just entered the United States. Yeah. Now oh, we're gonna put the hammer down and see how far we can make her. Starting to get darker as we speak. And it's still raining. 
Well, we'll see how far we can make her. I would like to go uh, at least to the first rest area up in North Dakota. Well, I really like to get further, but I don't know if I feel like it. We'll see. We'll see once we get further down the road how far we can actually make her. Anyways, that's the plan for right now. Welcome to North Dakota. That's right. We are in North Dakota. Guys, all good things must come to an end. Yes. Our good show has come to an end today. Now you might agree with me or not, hey? I think it's a good show at least, for the most part. I think I have a good channel, I believe. And I believe I make good contacts. Or good videos, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we made it as far as Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yep. We got about five and a half hours worth of driving tomorrow or five and three quarter hours or something like that so we should be able we should be able to make it there on time at least that's what according to my calculation as long as the traffic ain't gonna be too horrible we should be able to make her anyways that's about it I'm ready to hit the sack or bed whatever you want to call it go up there and sleep so we will see you again tomorrow we've got to the end of this video hey be sure to check out some of my social media sites and i got the links right down there below in the description box hey i got the subscribe button right there in the corner it's nice and big for you guys to check it out hey check out some of these cool videos right here have a good one catch you on the next one